In James 1, verse 22, it says, Be doers of the word, not hearers only. I, when I was the minister of a church, I had so many wonderful people around me, but many were just uh, hearers of the word only. They would spend an hour on Sunday, and then they'd go out and live their lives in less than the Christ way. Well, when you're doers of the word, it changes everything. You have to walk the talk. You have to do more than just hear it. There comes a point that you've heard it, and you've heard it, and you've heard it, and you've heard it, and then you've got to do it. You've got to become it. I pray that if you need guidance from God today, in every life there are decisions to be made, and in every decision, each person would like to feel that the right choice is being made and in a way that is best for all concerned. Well, I pray that you're not just hearers of the word only. I pray this for every person that reads Positive Daily Inspiration. Don't just sit there and, and read it. Become it. Uh, Make it your, your way, no matter what church you go to, to become a doer of that word. To take the guidance and direction that you are given from God directly and become it. And to accept your inheritance as God's child and claim your guidance now and then follow it to walk the talk. Now we're all children of God. That means we're inheritors of all that is good. Each of us is created in the image and the likeness of God, endowed with God powers beyond imagination. It follows that the key to our guidance and direction and to every other person's guidance and directions lies in the realization of these God powers and then to put them into action in an active way in our lives. While we may accept the truth that the guidance is our inheritance as God's child, this truth will not benefit us until we apply it to our experience, until we put it into action. We know that God's light and direction are with us right now. And we pray to be inspired with love that our decisions that we make are in harmony and in peace. But we have to become the inspiration that we receive. We have to become the prayers that we pray. We have to become people that are one with God. What does it mean to be one with God? It means not just to sit at the feet of Jesus and say, Jesus, do this for me. It means to stand up and say, I'll follow you. And how do you follow? You become it. You become what he said. You become the action, the faith, the creativity, the imagination. Can you do it? Or does a holy woman or a holy man or a holy minister or rabbi have to do it for you? No, you have to do it yourself. You have to to stand up. This is what soul growth is about. It is about becoming. And I pray today that you stand up and become, that you are doers of the word.